Hello, so we have here um, a Telium Pebble Leather Key Organizer which is coming from Gibbon or I don't know if I spell it correctly but this is the box uh, and um, you buy this one if you organize your keys and do you want less dangles in your pocket um, you know this is a good option it's um, Italian leather so you open it and you have um, out of the box pretty much you don't need any tools or anything uh, you take it out and you can see that this uh, has Italian leather uh, written on um, from inside the quality the craftsmanship is really good um, this is the name of their brand the company um, they have different types of leather options this one they call it the new um, design uh, that looks like this and they have a different one that looks actually from outside like this one from inside so let's say I take a couple keys and I have different size of the keys so I can show you that uh, actually it doesn't fit all the keys you have two options two uh, types of uh, screws one for a smaller one and one a longer one shorter one and longer one so you can have more keys or less keys all right so let's have uh, here you can see I have a longer, a shorter key, a regular key, and then a smaller key. Um, okay, you take the um, the small piece metal and then insert the keys and then you connect to the other part of the of the key organizer. You gotta be careful how you do that. Uh, I, I I didn't work out for me the from the first time. So I'm going to start again. Okay, I'm trying to put the keys again, organize and then connect to uh, the other piece. And then when you get to connect the pieces, then you screw them with your hands. You don't need like a special tool. And you see here, trying to screw it uh, until you know you can feel it still dangling I guess because this is the longer uh, option I gotta put maybe the shorter option so this is for more keys I'm gonna just get the the, the smaller piece um, and then screw it down over there all right let's see I'm gonna get the smaller one and the same procedure you gotta be you gotta get both things together it's not complicated um, for me, maybe it was more complicated because I was video. I was taking a video of this, and I couldn't uh, concentrate and see, you know, close by. I was trying to show you on the video exactly, you know, how to do it. So uh, I managed here to to get it, and uh, then if you screw it, you gotta screw it really tight. So you have um, the other piece going on like a clip, but it, yeah. So you just clip it and it's pretty much easy and then you can see here that the longest key actually doesn't fit uh, yeah that's def that just definitely is not gonna fit it's gonna rub the the metal or the leather so and also it's gonna be hard for me to get to the other keys so this one would not really work for me because I need that the key and that would be a little bit complicated for me to use it uh, because of that and then let's say if I w if you want to put like the key fob if you want to open your um, home if you have a like this kind of system to use the key fob and you take it let's say I took it off the, the the longer key just to show you how you can set it up with a regular size key or a little bit longer than a regular size which is gonna fit nice and then right here you can see I mean it fits nice uh, really clean easy to get and uh, you can use the fob as well you don't need to put it separate you can just use in the same idea the keys are available as well mm. if you want to remove it you just remove it um, if you want to make it tighter you want just want to make sure that you are uh, making it tight but at the same time align it correctly so you can close correctly and then you can attach to your um, car key if you want to attach it or you see here I have like a ring which is going to be a little bit too um, thick 
and then you would have to get like a regular ring that is not so thick to, if you want to connect it so you can see here i have a different option so you have this option right here is nothing dangling it re looks really neat really nice there's no sound and dangling and then you know pretty much you have organized everything in one place and you know um that uh, you know if you want to have even less things uh, you can see here i um, detached the big ring and i, I only left the small ring if you want to get the the small ring only uh, right here my son is actually trying to reach the keys to play of course um yep so right here you can see that it's pretty much nice yeah it's a nice thing if you don't want to have a like a longer key but if you have a longer key that would be an issue like i do in my case or in my case it wouldn't work out for me because that key it wouldn't uh, fit comfortably but if you don't right here you can see that you could take off the fob it's looking really um, good you can see the um, everything is attached to the key ring really nice um, the quality is really good i would say you know the i mean it's not cheap i think it's around 30 or 40 dollars or something like this uh, but uh, you're getting you know good materials good good aesthetics and really thoughtful idea of how to use you know how to you can use it properly you have the branding right there on the i think it's titanium material or maybe i'm, I'm mistaken maybe not um, you can see here that the thickness is uh, pretty nice but let's say if you want to add this one you're going to see that it's going to go too much so it's not going to fit see here you have different size with the keys but this one is the uh, longest one that i have and um, it wouldn't work for me yeah right here you can see that it's pretty much like getting to the end i'm gonna show you later on in the video a demonstration like how it's rubbing on them on that one so let's say if i want to let, let's purpose of demonstration let's put that one in the middle pretty much let's close it and then i'm going to show you the big key right here that it's basically on the leather all the time like this is the yeah it's going to rub the leather or the the metal so it's not going to really work you can see right here where it's going so right here we have between the metal and the leather you can keep it over there you can put it in the middle or you can put it in the top or whatever but it's still going to have a little bit of issues with that so it's going to be hard to access all the other keys because of that because it's really tight so um, yeah right here you can see it's so if you, if you have this kind of key it's not going to work for you so i would uh, suggest you to look for any other um, or key organizer that actually can fit the bigger the longer keys and then if you want to access your other keys it's going to be not so easy because that one is going to interfere pretty much with the access so accessibility of the other keys yeah um, overall it's a nice design i like i like it but you know i'm still going to continue using like this because of that key so mm, sorry <laughs> but thank you very much for wa for watching